button. Yo, and I still don't know where the record button is on this thing. I think that's it. Okay. I think we're good. I think we're good on the zoom. I think we're good on the light. I feel like I need a little bit more light on this side though. Hang, hang on. Bonjour, mon petit. It is I, the fabulous Trace, back with a new video. Yeah. And hold, hold, ooh, hold on, hold on, girl. Let me tell y'all something. I um, I can't find my gold, my gold choker. So, um, I can only find my black one. So we improvising. You know what I'm saying? I got my two little bracelets or whatever, and you know, got them on my neck. Try and make them look like they look and do what they do. And when you know, when, when you see these pictures, it's gonna look like one thing. So you know whatever we gotta make things work anyway in today's video we're gonna be doing a watch me transform get ready with me kind of situation um i did not do the hair nor the wrap it's just the makeup but if you want to see how i do my wraps i have a whole video for that i will link it right up here you'll see the little eye it'll drop down everything will be everything and um yeah so if you want to see oh wait 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 before i even get into that are you subscribed to my channel could you subscribe to my channel please I'd like you to because it's a great place to be. Now that that's out of the way, if you want to see how I achieve this makeup look, then keep on watching and I will catch you on the other side, this side, that side. <laughs> This is not a tutorial. This is a get ready with me. Watch me transform. So I am not going to really be talking technique. I'm just going to be running my mouth. So I gotta um get my face primed, and I'm using my tried and true, trusty. It works for me, so I'm not really interested in going anywhere else. Uh, primer. I'm using the uh, benefit professional you know I mean I'm saying and I'm OD oily so we gotta matter down all right so foundation I'm using the cover X power play see I, I just this is so annoying with trying to get this to focus it don't matter cover effects power play foundation and I'm using the shade G100 and I'm gonna mix that with the Maybelline Fit Me in a 338, I believe. Yo, you know what's crazy? I don't even know my foundation color anymore because now that I've moved, um, I feel like I feel like I'm lighter and darker at the same damn time. So I don't really know what the f be going on with my face, yo. Where's my foundation? Oh. <laughs> my dad. So yeah, I've been feeling like I'm lighter and darker at the same time. And I honestly am not sure um, what my color is. But you know what? To be honest, I'd rather have my foundation darker than lighter because um, if it's too dark, I can just brighten up the center of my face and, uh, you know, let that let that do the thing. But if it's too light, then I'm out here looking like a freaking ghost and life just don't make no damn sense. Ain't nobody got time for that. Looking like nobody's damn ghost. All right, so I'm gonna take the Morphe uh, Y6 brush and just blend this whole shit together. See, I think, I think this is too dark. But like I said, I don't be knowing. I honestly don't be knowing. I don't have these problems with my clients. I don't know why. Like when it comes to when it comes to work and my clients and stuff, I, I be doing my shit. But when it comes to me, I don't know. I know one thing though, it be coming out the palm though. <laughs> this looks really good though. Honestly. And I'm not doing no extra um like I'm not doing a, a, a super like heavy full coverage. I just want to get it, get it on there, get it in there. And I'm going to take my concealer. I'm using LA Girl Pro in Warm Honey. Um, this is a glow from within kind of look. So, you know, I don't want to do my normal um, 
spotlight highlight. And like I said, this is more like a uh, glow from within kind of look. So, you know, we want to be nice and subtle. Y'all know me. I put that D in subtle. We're going to put subtle. Oh, I forgot. This is the Iman, um, Iman foundation stick in the shade Earth 7. Um, I want to bring a little bit more warmth to my forehead area to make it look like, you know, something. All right, so I'm going to take the Morphe M356 and I'm going to blend out this contour. And I know I said this wasn't a tutorial, but um, you want to blend this back into your hairline, you know what I'm saying? A lot of folks don't blend it into their hairline. I guess because they be wearing wigs and shit and they don't want to, you know, get the foundation on their hairline. I'm not sure, but they don't ever blend it into their hairline. They blend it more into their forehead and that's just a no. So blend it into your hairline. Circular motions or back stroke motions. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm going to take this Morphe brush. Um, it doesn't have a name. It came in a set. And I'm going to blend out my highlight. And I am bringing it up into my eye area because I'm not intending on uh, priming my eyes, really. Normally, I do uh, like put foundation on my eyes, but I didn't do it today. No particular reason. Where's my hand mirror? Now I need my hand mirror. And blending with a brush does take a lot longer, but you see the precision? This is like melty, my guy. Like this is melty. This is melty. Mmm. Y'all see how buttery that looks? <laughs> and I'm kind of blending it into the contour as well. I told y'all this was not supposed to be a tutorial. Y'all just supposed to be watching me transform and shit. But I like to talk and run my mouth, so. Um, I like, a, if y'all been around for a minute, y'all know that I was never really a fan of the whole snatched contour situation but um i've been doing it lately and it's been working for me so we're gonna do that today oh in person this looks so good i don't know how this is translating on the camera because i don't have my little monitor and i'm looking straight through to the camera and the camera's kind of far away but this shit looks good in real life sister all right, so I'm gonna mix uh, the Sasha Buttercup setting powder with the uh, Black Opal setting powder in medium. I think I said that right. I'm mixing the Sasha Buttercup and the Black Opal, um, what is this? True Color Soft Velvet Finishing. Look, all this stuff gonna be in the description box, but I'm mixing these two. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and set under my eye. All right, now I'm gonna take uh, the Black Opal setting powder in medium and uh, dark, and I'm gonna mix those two together and I'm gonna set the rest of my face. I'm gonna use this fluffy uh, Real Techniques brush and just go ahead and knock it all out in one fell swoop, you know what I'm saying? It's easy. Yeah. Back seat on my head now. Yeah, see, just wanna knock it out real quick. This contour is so nice, y'all. I don't know if y'all could see this uh, on the camera, but that is nice, girl. I should've never came on here saying this ain't no tutorial, cause this, this done turned into a whole damn tutorial. 
All right, so for my contour today, I'm gonna be using the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. This is not going to focus in time, but y'all see what I'm talking about. It's in the shade uh, Dark to Deep, and I'm gonna be using the Sculpt shade, the one in the middle, because it's a little bit lighter than the contour shade in the, in the medium to dark palette. I'm gonna use that same uh, brush that I did my cream contour with, that I blended it out with, and I'm just going to go ahead and put that right on in there. Yeah, cause that's nice. I'm gonna blend that up into that highlighted situation that I had going on. And I'm not going to put any more on the brush yet, but I'm gonna go around the perimeter of my hairline, just the first half, cause it ain't gonna stretch that far. And now you can start to bring it down into your forehead area. Cause that's when you wanna make sure everything is blent. Y'all know how I feel about blent. Now I'm gonna uh, do my little contour on my nose. I'm using the same color and I'm gonna do this with the Morphe uh, E27 brush. I really, really, really like this brush uh, to, to do my nose contour. Like I said, I've been really feeling this whole snatch nose situation. It's been looking really nice on me. Um, and you want, you want a light, light hand when doing this. Light. Okay, light hand, let's go. You see what I mean? Light. Here's a trick. If you, the lighter you want your hand to be, hold the brush as far away as you possibly can. And that will help you get that light hand that you're trying to have. And because I have like a little button on, you know what I'm saying? I like to uh, just accentuate what's already there. All right, I'm gonna take my uh, Kat Von D locket spray and go ahead and set all this in place. Stay trying to talk while I'm spraying my face down. I don't, like, what be wrong with me, y'all? All right, while this is finishing drying, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows. So I'ma just, okay, brows are done. And to do my brows, I use the uh, NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Espresso. All right, so brows are done. For highlight, I'm gonna use the highlight that's in the Black Radiance um, Dark to Deep. Uh, what you call it? Because again, like I said, today's look is just a glow from within. I'm going to use the M, uh, I'm sorry, the Morphe R36 brush. Because I don't want nothing extra. Again, I just want a glow from within. Look, I don't know how many times I got to say that today, but I'm going to say it until y'all get it. But y'all got it. I know y'all got it. Yeah, that works. That works for me. There we go. I gotta be having to wait for this camera to focus. All right, so I'm gonna use Fulani from the uh, Masquerade palette. Um, basically all over. That's that's it. I don't know why I even zoomed in because it's that simple. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that all over the lid. All right, and then I'm not going heavy on the inner corner, but I am gonna take Dahlia from the Masquerade palette and I'm just going to brighten up the inner corner just a little bit. All right, now I'm gonna line my lower lash line I'm sorry, my lower waterline. Yeah. And this is the Makeup Forever Aqua XL Eye Pencil. I do wanna make this brown a little bit deeper, so I'm gonna go into the Nubian palette, and it's the very last brown, this one, this dark brown. And I'm gonna take that same brush that I had Fulani on. I'm gonna mix a little bit of it. Yeah. All right, so that's what we're doing with that. So now I'm taking Molly in the Masquerade palette and I'm going to uh, do my lower lash line. And I'm actually gonna take this down pretty far. On top of that, I'm gonna take this green right here, this lime green color in the 35B palette and put it right on top of it. I mean, I'm gonna pack it on. All right, now I'm gonna throw some mascara on these bottom lashes. And I'm probably gonna do 50 11 coats because I ain't got no bottom lashes. All right, so now it's time for lashes. Let's zoom this joint right back on out. So for lips, I think I wanna do like a really nice nude situation. So I'm gonna use NYX um, Earth Tone as my liner. Shout out to NYX lip liners, bruh. I have no problems with them.
really. And then for my lip color, I'm actually gonna use my concealer, uh, the Warm Honey. And I'm going to top that with a uh, creme brulee from NYX. Okay guys, so that brings us to the end of another video. And if you enjoyed, please make sure you leave me a big old thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And more importantly, I need you guys to please share this video if you liked it. Tell the entire world, the entire world, the entire fucking world, let them know, okay? All right? And subscribe to my channel if you have not, and if you already are one of my petites, make sure that notification bell is on so that you know when I drop these videos. Speaking of when I drop these videos, this week's chat with Tree Small Petites. I'm trying to get my upload schedule together. Monday and Thursday or Tuesday and Thursday. I really wanna stick to this two videos a week thing. Um, so please, guys, I need your help. Please drop it in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think. Should I do Monday and Thursday or Tuesday and Thursday? That's very important to me, so if you guys could you know, help me out, help me figure this out that would be great you know because we're a family and when you have family you ask your family for help when you need help so i need you guys to help me yeah uh, make sure you follow me on instagram at call me underscore trees same name across the board if you're looking for me you gonna find me there here anywhere at call me underscore trees i'm on facebook too i don't really you know what i'm saying be posting on there like that but i'm on facebook so if you're looking for call me trees you gonna find her on facebook instagram twitter snapchat all that stuff um, that's all there is to say, and there is no more except, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you, love you, love you from the bottom of my little bitty heart. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Mwah. Bye, guys.